Hi everybody, hope you're all well firstly. Um, welcome to part two of the magical mystery knife, or whatever I called it. Anyway, I've taken it out of the mould, let it harden for a few days, as you know. So we're now at that stage there. So the next process is we'll kind of cut all this meat off of it, if you like. And we'll see what kind of handle we can make out of it. So, let's crack on. Exposed a bit of the spine because it'll hey why not and just roughly cut the shape out so now hmm what do you reckon I reckon that's gonna be cool let's get on the grinder and refine it up a bit
away. I've taken this down rough. So this is down to 120 grit now. You can see there's a void there, but that's really easy to rectify. Um, just pour a little bit of resin into that, or to be honest with you, I might even leave it open, make a feature. But you can see the plaque is coming out of this. It's gonna, wow, well, it's just amazing already. Look, look at it, I'm so pleased with it. And it's a good little feel. So what we'll do now is we'll put, um, a uh, fine about on there like a 320 or something we'll, and we'll bring this down a bit smoother and then it will be a hand finishing and we'll see what we got but yeah I'm liking it right this is a 240 paper um, as you can see I always wear masks when I'm working with anything really it's so important and I've got a beard and stuff, but for this, to be honest with you, with my fan on as well, it's pretty good. But, top tip for you, if you're using a ventilator or using a, um, a mask to do your sanding, make sure you keep your mask in an airtight container. Because if you just chuck it on the bench and you go and do something else, it's going to get full of dust, isn't it? There you go. Top tip for the day. We're up to 800 grit now, and as you can see, I couldn't resist it, could I? I would have made a little modification, which I think looks going to look really good. Um, I know I've got the hole, but I'm going to leave that for now, and, that, and those little bits there, because I don't know, it's part of it, isn't it? It's part of the knife. So let's get on the polishing wheel now, and let's um, start buffing it up. medium cut the bottom. So that's a heavy cut, we'll move on to the middle cut in a minute and we'll have a look to see how that comes out. Just in case you are wondering, um, this is the stuff I use, It's it, these polishes are designed for plastics but they work really really well with resins as long as you don't let them get hot, if you let the resin get hot it'll, um, it'll start moving it and it's not very good. And then the idea, all you've got to do is, as you can see, is just 
go really really steady across it all take your time and just try and get all of the um all of the marks out before you move to the next grit or to the next polish because if you if you move to this too quickly you're just not going to get the, the marks out and you'll have to go back again so taking your time saves your time all right let's move on to the next one I need to go over this because this, this worries me. If you are doing this and you're doing this with a knife, there are some obvious safety things you need to take into account. When you're polishing, you never polish towards the top of the wheel because it can just come back at you. So you always polish at the bottom of the wheel. And you notice when I'm doing it, um, you see there that like, I'm holding the knife that way and I'm only polishing this half of it and then I'll turn it to do the other half if that makes sense. So I'll do that and then I'll turn it over it so that I'm never going over and I'm always keeping it below the wheel so that if it does catch, it's just going to go down. All right. Don't forget guys, on my other video, we've made these Bronze Age Dirks. So check it out, because in part two, we're going to finish them, put some handles on them, and I'm probably going to give one away. So check it out.